in a beautiful Blossom Valley of Southern California, really close to San Diego. Looking at an absolutely cool, very nice 1956 Chevy half ton pickup. Has a lot of customization done on it, extremely nice top to bottom. It is a body off, ground up, restoration, whatever you'd like to call it. But the frame is just as nice as the top of the truck. We're going to walk around and we're going to give you a feel on it. I've spent a lot of time studying this truck. It's very, very nicely done. If you're looking for a nice Tri-5 Chevy pickup that'll wow the crowds, I'm going to leave a little surprise here for you. We'll walk around a little bit and then I'll tell you what's underneath the hood. Beautiful blue paint. The entire body uh, paint and fabrication was done by SoCal Paintworks here in Santee, California. Uh, the hood's been pancaked. You can't even really tell by looking at it. Completely modified the hood. The top has been chopped actually three inches. It has a custom windshield in it, which is uh, radius. It's just beautiful. I have a little cheat sheet in my hand. You hear me wrinkling. Jeffrey's Hot Rod Glass in uh, San Luis Obispo did the glass on it. It's really just very nicely done. A lot of smoothed items. Let's see here. The hood is pancaked by Jack White. It's got a custom seven foot bed with oak and stainless floor, shaved door handles, custom grill. The frame's been completely boxed. We'll cover that in the undercarriage portion of the video. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, 20s and 18s. We'll cover the size of the tires and everything when we get to the undercarriage video. So make sure you hang on to the end of the video. It's worth every minute of it if you're looking for a nice truck. The gaps or seams, depends on who the critic is, are absolutely perfect. Some guys call them gaps, some call them seams. But the light's just right. This is a kind of a medium blue. It, the, the truck is just whistle straight. I've done several trucks that, uh, or cars that were done by uh, SoCal Paintworks here in Southern California. They do an exceptional job. The paint, the metallic, lay down is just sweet. The body works beautiful. You can tell the amount of time that went into this uh, particular restoration. Truck has less than 190 miles on it or about 190 miles on it. Again we're going to cover a lot when we go to the undercarriage. We actually cover the engine compartment for you here. This uh, license plate bracket. In California they require two, two license plates front and rear. This is easily removed without modifying the truck if you want to be the one that runs without a front plate. That particular black plate has been with this truck. It is an original California truck. That black plate belonged to this truck when the owner purchased it and started the restoration many years ago. It's a multi-year project and the end result, you know, you can always see these things or you think you see them till they're done. You know, you, you, in your mind this is how you want it to end up and Boy, I tell you what, a lot of pro craftsmen have done and worked on this truck, and it is beautiful. 18-inch front wheels. On hiding underneath the hood, all I'll give you that right now is an LS1, first-generation LS1, 4L60E, automatic overdrive transmission. Step side bed's beautiful. It has uh, electric door remotes. We're going to open it with our hand right here because uh, I don't have it in my hand. Plus, it's too hard to hold the camera. I'm holding the camera and talking at the same time. A lot of time was spent in the door jam, smoothing all the seams. The interior is beautiful two-tone leather, kind of a saddle look. It has nice blue stitching throughout it. We'll kind of cover that over here. German square weave carpet. The gentleman that upholstered the, the truck is, uh, takes a couple years waiting list to get in and see him. Uh, Let's see here, we're just looking at my little note thing. We'll cover the other side when we go to the interior. These uh, AC vents are really neat. You, uh, you just turn them. It does have air conditioning. Vintage air conditioning. It's got audio with Bluetooth. It has power windows in it. Walk around to the other side here. There's a custom access panel. This comes off and you can access the battery. There's also a panel underneath where you can access the master cylinder. The headliner, we'll cover that wire from both sides. It has dome lights and courtesy lights on the kick panels and up in the headliner. The headliner matches the truck. The blue stitching to boot. We'll have a little short clip of what's behind the seat for you here. But we did want to cover 
all the radius is on the chop this is the paint on this is just spectacular all the way into the jams here um, obviously you get the idea you don't even notice this trucks chop that's when you when you have a good chop you can stand back and look at it something and you say you know what that's not really altered it is it isn't that's when you know a chops good it's very nicely done it pitched the windshield back with a radius here um, pancake the hood kind of brings it all together very nice on the angle same thought all the way throughout the truck the radius on the beds all that was done very nice all stainless hardware throughout if you look just right, we're starting to get some sunshine here. You can see the metallic in the finish. It's a very elegant paint job. It brightens up a little bit in the sun. We kind of like it in this light so you can see the reflections on it. I actually prefer the overcast sky. The sun's coming out as we're going along here. So Look at that angle. If that isn't bitching. The roll pan on the back, he did custom. It has LED lights on it there. He kept the roll pan up high so it didn't hide the Curry 9 inch rear differential, the polished aluminum differential in the back. We're going to stop right here and we're actually going to cover the, uh, the bed and then we'll follow I through with a little, a little more, break so. there to lower the tailgate and kind of give you a feel. Along the same lines, the level of detail on this is just spectacular. His uh, oak bed inserts with stainless steel uh, separating strips. There's a custom strip on the back and the front that evens up the boards. You typically don't see that. Um, this is something the owner that custom had custom made. Polished Allen stainless hardware. Again, smoothed. Beautiful. All I can say about this truck is just wow. Again, tailgate releases on the inside because of the smooth tailgate. We'll do a little walk up here. This is where your fuel door is. It's one of those push-in types so you don't have to take a cap off. It's a very nice hidden location. You're not going to smell it anywhere. Very nicely done tub in the back. As opposed to the factory bedsides which would be kind of funky. Sharing the bed with you here, I, you didn't notice that I said 7 foot bed. It's got a custom length bed just enough to give it a little bit better suspension and ride and look obviously aesthetically there's just a slight amount added to the step here if you parked it next to a step side you probably wouldn't notice it um, looking at it you wouldn't think it was a little bit longer but it's just a little bit longer it has that strip up in the front of the bed just like it has here in the back Anyway, I'm going to take a little break, right, shut the tailgate. Here's the flip up license plate. Okay, we Hang finished on up the with the tailgate the there and shut her up and a little walk around here, the back side of it, show you how the tailgate is just, look how whistle straight those panels are. Look at the reflections. A little bit of a long video, but I think it's going to be worth your time. Again, if you're interested in this truck, make sure you hang on to the end of the video, go all the way through it. Even if you're remotely interested, make sure you go through it. It's just shocking, and uh, maybe that little bit of stretch is there for you, but this is a beautiful truck. The paint by uh, SoCal Paintworks is just amazing. I did a silver Ford truck <coughs> about six, eight months ago that was done by them, and it was also the equal level of quality and paint and bodywork. Anyway, we're going to get inside here. Nice little peep mirror there. Again, it has remotes that pop the doors open just fine. It also has emergency access if needed. The, the uh, interior, I was struggling for the upholsterer's name over on the other side. There was Howard McKee. Um, takes you a couple years to get in there. Very nicely done in interior. You notice there's a blue strip here that's kind of neat that separates the two. The stitching is just beautiful. Same level of hardware throughout the door jams and so on and so forth. You'll find me repeating myself throughout these videos. Remember I come up and I show up and I spend a couple hours with these folks and these cars and I try and take in as much as I can. Make it feel like you're here. 
We'll have a little section of the back of the seat here in just a minute where we'll show you where all the electronics are and all that kind of stuff. These armrests, again, have the French stitching. This is a glide engineering seat. Those, those uh, armrests lift up, and you can see the stitch in the center also. Actually, they've worked on the bolsters and stuff to give this more of a little bit of a sports car feel. Glide engineering seat probably be a typically a little bit flatter than this. <clears throat> A brush tilt steering column here. I'm going to get my notepad out and I know I'm going to miss some stuff. German square weave carpet. Factory VINs where it's supposed to be on the truck. It's 3 Baker 560-011-808. Look up underneath here. It has two speed wipers on it. Headlight switches right there and you see a courtesy light. This here is a uh, trans temp gauge. Nice fun little ad. I'm going to get in, sit down, and read the notepad and kind of cover a few things here for you. If you notice the steering wheel, this is an insert where you can put the leather, so this leather matches the seat inserts. <coughs> Pardon me, I get going here. Do a little runoff here, and then you're going to hang on to the end of the video for definitely more. The uh, frame is completely boxed, reinforced, it's dovetailed in the front and rear. The engine's a Chevy LS1, I covered that with you. Uh, the interior is Leather Glide Engineering Custom Bolstered Seat with Vintage Ear AAC Heat and Defrost Alpine Sound with CD, USB, and Advanced Bluetooth with JBL speakers. So there's four JBL speakers here. Two on each corner behind the seat. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. And then the kick speakers there. The Bluetooth speakers right there. So in modern technology, here's the air gauge for the uh, uh, Firestone airbags on it. Truck has 190 miles. It has auto meter gaugers in it. Gaugers. <laughs> you know, if I was perfect, I make my own kind of bloopers, but I rarely correct them. You can see the finish on the dash there. You can catch the light across the dash. One hundred and ninety miles. Oil pressure is at forty-five fifty there when you bring the R's up. Fuel gauge is working. Volts fourteen. Definitely the kind of truck you can drive. Cooling fans electronically controlled. I'm gonna get out, invite you in, and invite you to watch the rest of the video here. Give you a little sound. Of course, we'll have sound at other portions of the video, but it's nice and quiet. It's running super smooth. Anyway, we're thinking it's about time for you to get in, and don't forget to go to spudsgarage.com when you're done. You're on Spuds Garage YouTube. All right, now here's the fun part. We get to peek underneath the hood. Absolutely very nicely done, just like the rest of the truck. You'll hear me say that a few times throughout this video. It's a first generation LS1, which is a full roller engine, roller camshaft, roller valve train, about 400 horsepower. We're going to do a little walk around here and kind of give you a feel of the uh, all the stuff underneath the engine compartment. A couple little neat things I noticed. The shifter is actually cable controlled. You take a peek right there. The firewall is smoothed which makes for a, a smooth shifting experience. It has a 4L60E automatic overdrive in it with full controller in it. We have a portion of the video we'll show you there. Going to look at a little cheat sheet here I have here. It has a, a Griffin radiator with the dual flow tanks in it. So it flows in and flows back out again. Very, very nice, high, highly efficient radiator. A lot of braided lines. Let's see here. Uh, Turnkey engine supply belt drive system. A lot of the uh, chrome and accessories on here are turnkey engine supply. The intake manifold itself is carbon fiber dipped. It's not carbon fiber. It's actually a, a coating that they put on there that gives it a carbon fiber look. Beautiful. These are uh, coil covers for the heads, which are very nice. The firewall finish, just like you'll see me say that on the undercarriage on the frame, the frame is the same way as the firewall in the engine compartment. 
Curry Ford 9 inch rear differential. We probably said that all the way throughout the video here, but extremely well detailed. It only has about 190 miles on the truck. Based on what the owner knows, the engine had less than 1,500 miles in it on it. All stainless hardware. You'll see that throughout the truck. We cover that in many different areas about it. Polished AC compressor. One of the things you're going to notice here is that the AC lines and heater lines, the way they exit on an LS, the heater lines are down here low, right by the AC compressor. So it allows them to run the hoses up and they actually run underneath the apron here so you don't have them messing up your engine compartment. A lot of neat custom touches on this truck. Cover underneath the bottom side of the hood. Look at the finish on the bottom side of the hood. You can actually see a full reflection of the engine on the bottom side of the hood. Professionally painted. SoCal Paint Works here in Santee, Santee, California did the entire paint job on this truck. We probably are again. I've already said that. We just like to keep repeating things. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Very nicely done LS conversion in this truck. Sits between the rails nice and low. Have a great day. Definitely hang on into the video. Spent this a little is a time rate. behind the seat showing you a few things. The detail in this truck is just unbelievable. Should be a little bit of a long video. Uh, you're probably part way or a long ways through it near the end. I wanted to show you a couple things here. This is all turnkey ECU stuff. It's uh, very well wired. This control box right here actually will pull away. It's not attached to the uh, back panel here so that if you wanted to lay it down to work on it or put some louvers on the cover or do something you could do that. Over there by underneath the speaker is a key that actually kills all the power to the truck and that particular key comes out so nobody will take your truck that's for sure this here is a uh, uh, easy TCU for the transmission shifting the 4L60E so this particular control right here comes off and he actually has a uh, plug component that you can plug up front and you can actually change the shift points if you don't like them yourself he's got them set to where they're comfortable there's here's the plug-in or the power for that unit and there's a a uh, 12 volt plug for the that goes underneath the seat. You plug it in. You can actually drive this truck and control the com the computer or the transmission. And uh, but this is just a really neat little feature. Here's the cover for the uh, uh, that holds the radio faceplate that's currently on the dash of the truck right now. It's not in there. Wanted to share with you the German square weave carpet goes all the way to the back of the cab. This is very nicely done truck. Anyway. On to the rest of the video. Right, he's going to turn around so I can photograph the other side of it. Raise the front end up just a little bit. Man, is that thing quiet. It sounds great. The light's just perfect this morning. No glare. What a beautiful truck. As he's turning it around here, I want you to notice the LED lights. We'll actually cover a small section in the video here. The flush mount LED lights. There's a third brake light that you really can't even see till he applies it in the back of the cab there. A lot of time and money bill on this truck, spent on this truck. Grab it up a little bit, Gary. A little bit nice. Thank you. take a look at the undercarriage here we know it's been a little bit of a long video because I covered a lot of things on this truck which deserved every point it's beautiful from top to bottom it's a fully engineered chassis built by TCI has fully independent front suspension stabilizer bar rack and pinion steering has four-wheel disc brakes wheelwood disc brakes 
tubular control arms. We're going to walk around and we're going to show you all the stuff. There's a lot of braided lines on it, heat coated exhaust. That's the 4L60E automatic overdrive transmission there. We put it up in the air here so we could kind of give you a good feel. The owner went to the point of keeping the original horns on the truck because it's got uh, two different tones to them. Everything's been lizard skinned underneath the wheel wells. Those are the AC and heater lines that run are hidden out of the engine compartment. We talked about that on the engine part of the video. There's two jump points for your battery box or your trickle charger. The battery's right there. Wow. You can see the finish on the frame is exactly like the rest of the truck. It's absolutely show quality. I'm bending over a little bit. There's one of the air tanks. It has two air tanks. One's a reserve tank that you can actually fill manually. All the exhaust is heat coated with the Dynamax mufflers on it. A lot of time was spent on building this truck. Not to mention money. Curry 9 inch rear end with four bar and a Panhard bar. We'll cover tire sizes for you. I haven't yet, but we'll do that right now. The rear tires are a 295-40ZR20 in the back. These are American Racing, polished five spokes. They're beautiful. They're just right for this truck. As I'm going around here, you really get a good look at the finish on this truck. A lot of time was spent with custom uh, stainless fuel tank. See the frame rails there. Cherry bomb exhaust tips. Don't mind if I catch my breath just a little bit. Bending over is a little hard. Drop down license plate frame. It has Firestone airbags and gas shocks. There's the uh, polished curry uh, nine inch rear end housing. Wow. Four bar suspension, Dynamax mufflers. We'll fire it up, give you a sound of it here. We've probably already done that during the video. Here's the additional air tank that we talked about right there. There's one on the right and one on the left, and it does have a compressor to run the Firestone airbags. The front tires themselves, let's see here. Or a 225-45ZR18, so it's got 20s in the rear, 18s in the front. Drilled slotted rotors front and rear. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com where you're going to find plenty more. Oh, forgot one thing. Two trans coolers right here. Polished. Have a great day.